Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at Mojave Server. And what we're going to do is do a new installation so you can get an idea for what that looks like. And then I'll walk you through the features that are left in uh, Mojave Server so that you get an idea of uh, what you have available to you in Mac OS Server. So uh, we're going to go ahead and walk through those pieces. Now a number of things that used to be in Server are also a part of the desktop application, so I'll be showing you that as well. So here we are, I've launched the Server application for the first time, and I have the option to either set this Mac up as a server, uh, I can use another Mac, or I can use existing servers on my network, which I have one on my network right now that I've been using. But we're going to go ahead and set this up on this existing Mac right here, and we're just going to click on continue. And so what it's going to do is ask if I uh, agree to the terms of the software license. I also have this option here to use Apple services to term the server's uh, internet reachability. Uh, that's a nice feature to check there. What that'll do is Apple will then uh, ping through their server. They'll ping your server to make sure that it is accessible on the internet if you want to have remote access to your server. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that checked and I'm just going to click on agree. And now I just need to authenticate. And once I've done that, I'll click on allow. And it's going to go through the process now of setting up the server for me for the first time. And you can see it's going to go through the process of uh, configuring all the pieces. Should be a little quicker than you may be used to in Mac OS Server. And that's mainly because it does not have to set up as many services as it did before because those services are no longer available. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run. And it should be done in a little bit. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. And there we go. So it's already set up and ready to go and it's launched for us. Now as you can see right here, you'll already notice that in the sidebar over here, uh, as I've shown earlier, uh, just about everything is gone. We don't see a lot uh, of things over here. You notice we've got our server information right here. And again, it's on a local network. So therefore, it's uh, you know easy to take a look at. You can see it says no services available right there because it has determined that it can't reach any services from this server, which is great because I haven't set anything up. I haven't opened any ports or anything like that. Uh, it also gives me information on my different network interfaces and what the IP addresses are there. And then if you come up here, I've got my settings like I usually do, where I can choose whether I want to open up SSH, I want to have screen sharing, or I want to use the server app on a remote Mac. So if I wanted to manage the server when I'm away from it, I can go ahead and check that box. And then I've got my access information over here uh, for either some users or all users uh, to different services, and I can add those services in here. Let's go, let's go back to the overview. I still got my alert information. I've still got my certificate information in here. And you can see it automatically creates some fallback certificates for me. I still have my logs. I still have my stats right here uh, for usage. And then you'll notice down here I've got my accounts. So I've got my uh, various users. And what it's going to do is automatically add the users that I already have on my local Mac into the server here. And then any groups that I want to create. And you can see I haven't created any groups yet. And I'll, I'll walk you through each of these things in a future screencast. I just want to give you a tour. Now what you'll notice is the only service available here is Profile Manager. And that hasn't been turned on yet or configured. I will walk you through how to do that. And then I've got this advanced area here. And notice that it uh, has the little show area. If I just click on show, you'll notice that I've got XSAN on here and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and just hide that. So it looks like the only service that shows is Profile Manager, but if we come up to the menu up here and we go to View, uh, you'll notice I've got a couple other things up here, uh, or at least one main one that I want to highlight, and that's Open Directory. So there is the option to add an Open Directory to add other users that you may want to manage. So if you've got, uh, let's say, uh, kids in your home, or you're running this at a business, and you want to have different users have access to Profile Manager and have their devices managed that way, you can uh, click on here to set up Open Directory and it'll show up in the advanced area and then you can walk through the steps of getting all of your users set up and ready to go. But what you will see, and again this is one of the, the glaring differences, is that we're down to this many services. This is all we've got right here. 
we've got these services just in this area here. Uh, one thing I will show you, and you see we got the tools there like screen sharing and the directory utility. One thing I will show you is let's just go ahead and pull up system preferences. Uh, one of the things that has changed, and like I said, I will go over this in more detail in a future screencast, is you do have software update right here in system preferences. And under sharing, you do have the options of things like uh, file sharing. And so right in here in file sharing is where we would do all of our work for not only AFP or SMB volumes, but also if you want to do time machine backups to your server as well, that'll be configured in here. So I'll show you how that works, as well as the caching services down here too. So some of the services, again, built right into uh, system preferences. Other parts of the services are available in the server application. Let me just close this down. But from what you can see, Apple really is focused focusing on profile manager and device management as being your server, not anything else. Now, why that's happening, uh, you know, I think they just uh, figured there are other better solutions out there to do a lot of the detailed management of the server. Uh, the other thing, too, is uh, it looks like Macs in terms of stationary Macs and servers are coming down to managing things like iOS devices. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to have an application that can manage all the settings on your iOS devices, as well as your remote Macs, things like laptops tops and that sort of thing uh, built into the server application. So Apple has really scaled it down to uh, what they feel they want to have a server on a Mac be all about. So that gives you an, uh, an idea of the new installation and what this looks like. What I'm going to do in future screencasts is walk you through each of these features and show you how to set them up so that if you want to run a Mojave server, you can do that on your Mac and we'll walk through all of the pieces. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.